obviously need to get a more efficient mechanism for getting a return on our money. And the best mechanism I've ever found is selling credit spreads. And I've done all kinds of trading. I've been trading options for over 20 years. I've traded stocks for over 30 years. And I've, you know, I've, I've been a real estate investor. I've looked into commodities. I've done a little bit of that. I've done a little bit of Forex. And this is just the best, best thing that I found going you know, for 99.9% .9 of us out there. And if you're new to this, I really want you to pay attention and take some notes because this is truly a strategy that can change your life. And, and you'll see why by the end of this presentation. So, it, you know, you might be asking right now, okay, that's great, you know, that's really interesting, but what is a credit spread? What is it? So to understand credit spreads, you first have to know a little bit about how options are priced. So we're gonna take a look at that. now. If you're a veteran options trader and you've been doing this for a long time and you go, well, of course I know what a credit spread is and, you know, why are you boring me with this? Well, keep in mind, none of us started off that way. You know, at some point in your career, you had to learn what this, these are just like everybody else and how options are traded. And when you're starting out, it can seem a little complicated. It's not once you get into it and once you kind of figure out, you know, how the thing works, you'll get very familiar with it. But let's first take a look at how options are priced. That's the first thing we can do to really understand how this works. So I just took an example here of, um, this happens to be an ETF. It's the, IW, it's the ETF for the Russell 2000. And you know you can see that it's going up it's a little bit and going down a little bit. And right now it's, it's hovering, it's, it's closed at 118.30. And I'm just gonna grab my little pen here so we, we can take a look at some things. So probability is determined by two things time until expiration, how much time the option has on it, and volatility of the underline. So you can see this particular um, instrument, you know, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it go, you know, comes down here, shoots back up here, it goes down here. That creates a certain amount of volatility. And options pricing is really fascinating because it's based on an actual mathematical formula that three mathematicians formulated back in 1973 and it's called the Black-Scholes model, and this is such a significant advancement in finance that they won the Nobel Prize for their achievement, this mathematical model, in the late 90s. I think it was 1998, and they won the Nobel Prize in economics, 97 or 98, right in there. And, but they, they actually created it back in 1973. Now, this was so significant at the time that it actually created the possibility for us to have an options exchange. So not coincidentally, that's when the CBOE started back in 1973. Before that, you know, options might have been, you know, privately traded, you know, by one broker or another, and you had no uniform way to price these. Well, this options formula, this mathematical formula, as you'll soon see, is really, really cool. It's really efficient. You know, for the first time ever, you know what, about what an option should be. You know the components that go into the pricing. It's an actual math mathematical formula, and that's what I love about it so much. Now, if you're not real good at math or you don't understand complicated mathematical formulas, don't worry because you do not need to know how this works to make money on it. Just like you do not need to know all the internal workings of the internal combustion engine to drive your car to the bank. Very, very similar analogy. To watch the next video on how to cash flow the stock market for fun and profits, subscribe to this channel for free by clicking the button below.